Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Cavaliers versus Jazz NBA matchup on Wednesday, December 20th, 2023. Of course, we do tons of free picks at PickDogs, but if you're looking for the games we like the best, head on over to our website, PickDogs.com. Just click on the Premium Picks tab. Use that discount code PICK for 15% off. We also have Dime Club and Sharp Trading Plays. These are meant for people who make big bets. I make big bets. I know a lot of you do as well. So uh, be sure to text that number you see on the screen. But uh, it's the only way to get that. But anyways, let's get to this one. Cavaliers taking on the Jazz. I have been way under the weather and uh, glad to be back doing videos with you guys again. And uh, I'll say that in all my videos today. But uh, the thing is, is that, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't miss any of the action behind the scenes. I just miss being on the, on the camera. And uh, I think, you know, these two teams that we see in this game, the the Cavs and the Jazz, these are two teams that have been playing pretty decently as of late. The Cavs on back-to-back -back wins, beating the Hawks and the Rockets. After a three-game losing skid, it was the Magic and then two losses to the Celtics. So tough to really, um, you know, tough to, to really have uh, too much fault in that. And then prior to that, they had beaten the Heat, the Magic, the Pistons. So, you know, they put some wins together as well. But the Cavs, it has been a bit of a choppy season after last year, you know, being a playoff team and then being eliminated fairly early out of the playoffs by the Knicks. It was a pretty embarrassing way to go. But the thing is, you know, sometimes it is part of that learning experience. For the Utah Jazz, this is a team that, you know, really had not been playing well this season. They've had a lot of injuries, but then since marketing has been back, they've won three of their last four games, including uh, last time out beating the Brooklyn Nets, beating them pretty good at home, 125-108. They're three-point home dogs in that thing. And uh, the other wins, beating the Knicks and beating the Blazers and uh, covering in all three of those wins. You know, the Jazz have certainly had their share of problems this year. A lot of inconsistency, and I think that that's, to be expected, as they're still trying to put things together. Meanwhile, for the uh, Cavaliers, they've had inconsistency as well, but I think a lot of that has to do with uh, the injuries that we've seen on this team. It just seems that they always have a ton of injuries. Mobley, of course, has been out. Garland is out. And, uh, you know, those are two guys that are key pieces to this puzzle as they have a young team that's building. And, uh, you know, these are two key cogs um, of that entire puzzle. I think when we look at, you know, at at what these teams are really all about, I think, you know, for me, uh, you know, how how lesser teams like, like the Jazz become better is, you know, by playing defense. And I think the Jazz, while their defensive numbers aren't, like, off the chart, they're certainly not that bad. And I think in the NBA, when you look at rankings, um, you're talking, like, hundredths of a, of a percentage point separating, um, you know, different parts of those rankings. So really not the way to look at it. I, I look at it more like, you know, how, how are they playing lately with what they have on the court? I just think that, that the Jazz appear to have some momentum here in the Cavs. Oh, I'm not so sure about them without Mobley and without uh, Garland especially. I'm going to take the Jazz in this one, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.